Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm sharing a few cards I created using the Concord and Ninth Hollyberry Turnabout Stamps and Dies and the Mistletoe Messages Stamps and Dies along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them over on my website as well. So here's a quick look at that Hollyberry Turnabout Stamps and Coordinating Dies. I like the way they did this set with the two turnabouts, one for the berries and one for the foliage. And you can easily use these separately throughout the year. So to save a little time, I already aligned the foliage stamp. I placed a piece of parcel wrap cardstock in my Misty, and I'm ready to start stamping. I will be using Hero Arts dye inks in the colors Forever Green and Soft Olive. I'm going to start by stamping that forever green ink and you'll notice I'm stamping the images at least two times just to make sure that I get a nice solid stamped image. I'm going to turn my paper one turn to the right and then I'm going to stamp with that soft olive ink. So now I'm going to continue alternating the colors with each turn of the paper. And I will be stamping two six by six pieces of this parcel wrap cardstock. Here I have my berry stamp aligned on the alignment aid that comes with this stamp set and I'm going to lay a jig into my Misty and line the X on the alignment aid with the X on the jig. I'll link a video at the end of this video to show you how to set up the turnabout stamps or you can head over to the Concord and Ninth website where they have lots of helpful information. So once I lift the stamp with the lid of the Misty, I'm going to remove that alignment aid. I'm going to make sure there are no bubbles underneath that uh, stamp and then I'm going to place one of the six by six pieces of parcel wrap cardstock into my Misty. I'm going to be using Hero Arts Unicorn Pigment Ink to stamp the berries on this panel. A few quick tips here, be light handed when using the unicorn ink because the pad is very spongy. And I take care to not apply too much pressure to the lid of the Misty. Um, I just lightly run my hand over the lid. If you press too hard down on the lid, it will cause your ink to mushroom. So here you're going to see I just lay my hand down and then just start to lightly run it across that. Another thing to remember is that this is pigment ink, so it takes a bit longer to dry. So just be careful while you're rotating your paper. And I almost always stamp my image two to three times when using this ink. So I also stamped the second panel and I'm going to use the traditional Christmas colors of red and green on that second panel. So I use Hero Arts uh, Red Royal dye ink to stamp the berries on that second panel. So here's a quick look at how they turned out. I think I like the white berries better than the red berries. I do really love the white and green with that craft paper. It's very pretty. Okay, so now I'm ready to do some die cutting and I'm gonna be using the Hollyberry coordinating dies and the Mistletoe Messages coordinating dies. I'm gonna use that Holiday Bliss and a Mistletoe Kiss sentiment on my card. And I'm also gonna be using Concord and Knight's Neutral Glitter Paper Pack and their Neutrals Foil Paper Pack. So I'm loving this glitter and foil paper packs. It's just convenient to have a few neutrals on hand in a six by six sheet. So here I have the pearl glitter paper that I'm going to add Hero Arts Forever Green ink to. I'm using an ink dauber to apply the ink because the paper has a bit of texture to it. And you'll see me dabbing the ink instead of rubbing it on. And that just keeps me um, from eating up the sponge on that ink dauber. So I ran the glitter paper and mistletoe die through my Big Kick and I went ahead and die cut a darker shade of green while I was over there. And by using this darker green behind that glitter paper, it helps it stand out a little bit more on that craft paper. Plus it's going to give us some dimension to our card. I will be adding some foam circles to the back of this to pop all that mistletoe up so it does add a lot of nice dimension when you have a couple of layers there. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side for now because I want to assemble the cards all at one time and I do have a bit more die cutting to do. I did go ahead and die cut that um, Season's Greetings 
die out of the gold foil paper and I die cut the label using red cardstock. Now I'm die cutting the leaves using that dark green cardstock and the foil paper and I do add some ink to those dark green die cut leaves. So I'm using Gina K Connect Glue to add that gold foil to the red cardstock. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry and while it's drying I'm going to go ahead and cut the stamped panel to fit a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base and you'll notice I'm cutting small strips from each side of the panel it just ensures that that pattern stays balanced it might not be a big deal so don't worry about it if it's not and I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the cards now using my ATG adhesive to adhere this stamp panel to my card base after that, I'm going to use 3D mounting foam to back the red and gold label. I'm going to remove the paper backing from the foam and cut a piece of twine. So I'm just letting this twine loop around on itself, falling on that mounting foam and allowing it to stick to the mounting foam. And then I'm going to arrange all the leaves that I die cut around the back of that red label and I'm going to stick them to that mounting foam also. And because I have the twine and leaves uh, adhere to that first layer of foam, I'm going to add a second layer. And that's just going to ensure that the twine and leaves stay put and that this beautiful season's greeting sentiment stays on the front of our card base. So now this is my favorite one out of the two. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut some berries using that pearl glitter paper. So the berries are from the Mistletoe Messages dies, and I'm just going to run it through my sidekick. And you're going to get three, a grouping of three berries and then single berries, and then you can just stack those on top of each other to add dimension. I'm also going to go ahead and die cut the banner for my sentiment, and I'm using that same parcel wrap cardstock. Now I'm using VersaFine on its black ink to stamp this um, sentiment and this sentiment is the Holiday Bliss and a mistletoe, mistletoe Kiss. And I'm going to show you how nice that stamp, now this is the first time I've used this stamp set, but look how nice and clean that sentiment stamped. I love it. So there's the little foam dots that I'm applying to the back of the mistletoe and I'm going to use them on the back of that banner too just to go ahead and adhere those to the center using the same foam circles on the back of the berries to add those to the bottom of the mistletoe. And here's our finished card. That glitter paper really does give a nice sparkle to this card. You can't really tell it in the video but it does have a nice sparkle to it. Okay, so in the comments, let me know, do you prefer the white berries or the red berries? I'm loving the white berries. So that brings us to the end of this video, and I really appreciate you joining me, and my hope is that you were inspired to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you'll find videos and blog posts in one spot. As always, know I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.